Hi everybody, it's Kimberly from KimberlyKleinDesigns.etsy.com and today we're going to go over putting together my new printable banner and word board. So let's get started. So the first thing I did was just print out the banner pieces that I wanted. Um, I definitely recommend that you print the banner base shown here on cardstock because that's going to be holding all of your paper on top of it. I used a 65 pound cardstock found at Michaels or Walmart and although you get all the letters that comes with the banner I chose boo and here are the rosettes that we're going to fold. And here I've cut out my banner base. I also inked the edges of it with a black distress ink just to give it a little dimension, more depth and dimension. Now I'm thinking about how I'm going to be hanging this banner or each piece of the banner. I want to hang it on this black and white thread and you could definitely poke holes here, use a hole punch and string it through that way. But I decided to take the top down by half an inch and fold it so that it folds over top of the thread. Okay, so I'm going to set these two aside and on that piece of cardstock are these two round black rosette punches and I'll show you what they're for later. These two pieces of paper are going to be our rosettes and we're going to fold those in an accordion style back and forth and back and forth and glue the ends together. So here we go. And here you go you have a nice little half fan we're gonna do the same to the other one and then glue the ends together And then once you've got all your ends glued together, you're just going to kind of scrunch it all together. It takes a little bit of manipulating, but flip it over and it's going to turn into this really pretty rosette. It's kind of magical. Okay, so next we're going to be putting uh, circles on the front and the back of your rosettes so that we can then glue them down to the banner and also put paper on top. Now I did include circles with the kit however it's so much easier instead of cutting them out to use a one inch hole punch with either some cardstock, cardboard, construction paper, whatever you have that's sturdy enough to give it a little bit of strength. So now I'm going to cut out one of the circles that I did include with the kit and this is going to go on the center of the rosette. You want to use a generous amount of glue for this. I even thought about using my hot glue gun too. That would work pretty good. I'm not going to lie, it takes a little finagling of the fingers, but after the first one it went pretty quick. You're going to see me set some bottles on top of the rosettes. It only takes a few minutes for the glue to set up and the bottles were just kind of holding it all together while I moved on to the next one. So you just want to go through and put these little circles on the front and on the back. Here we go.
The rosettes dry pretty fast, so now I can go ahead and start decorating the banner. I did fold it down at the top a half inch because I'm going to slip that thread up underneath. So let's start putting it all together now. Here we go. It's really starting to come together now. Now, like I said before, if you have a hole punch, you could put two holes at the top of the banner and run some pretty ribbon through it, um, twine. I just had this black and white string that I cut, you know, it kind of fits the theme. So I'm gonna go ahead and start stringing it all together. Okay, so next we're going to be moving on to the word board. It comes in two sizes and it does come in this banner kit. Um, this size I use for decorating. I printed it out on cardstock, but I also included a junk journal size too. It comes with letters, numbers, and all these fun graphics. So I decided that I wanted to give this one a little bit of depth and dimension. I have these wood pile sticks. I either picked them up at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I really can't remember. I've had them for a long time. I'm going to paint them black and glue them down here. I thought maybe it would look more like the letters were sitting on the ledge. But guess what? I'm out of black paint. Have you ever run out of black paint before? So I'm going to go ahead and use a Sharpie on this. See how it works out. Okay, they turned out pretty good for painting them with a Sharpie. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue these on. I decided to take a couple of pieces that were still lying around from the banner and use them as decoration on my board. Next, I'm going to be taking the letters and deciding what do I want my board to say. And this is what I came up with. It turned out really cute. It's so nice and sturdy and I think I'm going to put it on my little easel. 
let's take a look at it all together. And here's how it turned out. I am really happy with this, all from a printable. The little board is so cute. Now I'm going to get out my glitter and start glittering away. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Please leave any comments or questions that you might have below. Like, subscribe, and share. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Halloween.